Today we're going to take a look at DeWalt's 550 PSI power cleaner. Let's take a look at what you get in this bare tool kit. So for starters, we've got the unit itself. Nice big unit. You've got the holder on the bottom here for a battery. Next, we've got the wand. So the wand attaches to the unit itself. So these are the pressure tips you get with this unit. You get a power tip, you get a 15 degree, a 25 degree, and a 40 degree. They all connect to the unit itself. Right on top here, you can slide three fittings just like so, so you won't lose them. And then you can take the fourth fitting and always keep it in the wand. That's a great way to carry all this stuff around. Now we get a soap dispenser, which connects to the front of this as well. So to connect it, we just push it in, give it a twist, and we're good to go. This just screws off and you can add your soap right to it. Really handy. So this is great if you're washing vehicles, you can just soap it up first and then you can switch it out to the wand just like this. And now you're ready to start blasting away. Next, we've got a nice little hose that they give us. This is a pretty sweet system and I'm gonna show you why here. So you can run this in two different ways. One is with the hose and one is with a garden hose. So if you don't have a water source nearby and you wanna just bring a bucket of water out to what you're trying to clean, let's say you're trying to clean some farm equipment or you're up on a roof or you're out in the middle of a field somewhere and you don't actually have a hose, you can bring some water out with you or maybe you got a trailer with a water cube on it. You can just take this, unstrap it, you drop this end, it has a float on it, you drop this end into your water source and you connect this to the actual unit right here. It's got a quick connect. Inside, you can also see a small filter. So now you can just pump straight out of a bucket, out of a gutter, whatever you wanna do. You can just pump straight out of there. It'll pressurize it. Now you can do your cleaning. Now all this stuff will fit nicely in this bag. So you can keep it all together, just a drawstring. And you got all the holes, so if it's wet, it'll dry out nicely. Won't get mildewy on you. So another cool thing about this is the battery container down here. You just flip the back open and you slide your batteries in. So the one battery I found that just fits in this is the nine amp hour flex full battery. Slide this in, you've got about a quarter inch gap on the bottom, close it up and you're good to go. I'll show you what a six amp hour flex full battery looks like. Right here, again, slide it in. And this one we got about a half an inch. And then lastly, a five amp hour, Lots of room in there. Now we've got a safety switch down here. So you just have to flip this little lever and then you can pull it back and it'll go. We also have a high low mode at the back. So that just flicks up. Those are your two different modes. This tool has good rubber over mold all over it. So it feels comfortable in your hands. It's well balanced, really impressive to use. Now keep in mind, this only goes up to 550 PSI. So it's not like those gas powered units where you're getting the full two, 3000 PSI and you can blow a hole through concrete. This thing is more meant for cars, small cleanup jobs, things like that. You're not going to be shooting 100 feet up in the air like you can with some of those other pressure washers. So keep that in mind. But for versatility, portability, this thing is amazing. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Till next time, keep on crushing it, and we'll catch you later.